I just found a new firmware for my TX12 radio, so I'm gonna install it. I'll click on Write Firmware, go down to the binary, select it, and then long press. And then while that's doing, I'm gonna unplug my radio because, I don't know, seemed like a good idea at the time. Well, I'm gonna finish the flash process. Shouldn't be a problem here. I'm just gonna reconnect my battery lead, and then I'll turn my radio back on and, uh-oh. That, my friends, is what we call bricking a radio. If you brick your radio and you get nothing at all when you press that power button, I'm gonna show you how to recover it. Let's go to the ST.com website and download the STM32 Cube Programmer for your platform. They've got options for Linux, Mac, Win32, and Win64. You will need an account before you can download the software, so make sure you set up an account and then log in and click on the Get Latest. Once you've accepted the terms and conditions, you should be prompted for your login and then the download should start. Once the download is complete, open up the archive. You can minimize your browser window, and then we'll start the install process by clicking on the executable. Just click the buttons you need to click in order to get the product installed. You'll be prompted to install device drivers. Click next on that, allow it to happen. This process may be slightly different for Mac and Linux. Once it's installed, click next, and then let's launch the program. The last thing you'll need is a copy of the firmware for your radio. You get that by going to the EdgeTX GitHub, click on the EdgeTX project, and then on the right-hand side, pick the latest release. As of this video, it's 2.8. Don't worry, I'll put links in the description on the EdgeTX GitHub as well, so you can navigate there to get your firmware. Scroll down to the bottom, and then you're going to look for a file that has the firmware in it, and that is EdgeTX firmware version 2.8.0.zip. So download that archive, open it up, and then look for the firmware that's appropriate for your radio. In my case, the TX12 Mark II is the one I'm looking for, and I'm gonna copy that to my desktop. Now we're ready to recover the radio. I've already got my battery plugged back in, and I press the power button, nothing happens. Connect the USB cable. Now here's an important bit, this has to work. When you connect the USB cable to the USB port on the top of your radio, you won't be prompted for anything on the screen itself because your radio is bricked, but you should hear a bong on your computer. All right, I just heard it, so that means that the radio is seen by the computer. They're talking. Back on the STM32 programmer, on the top right, there's a drop-down list. Yours might say ST-Link to start, but you want to click on USB. You also might see no DFU. If you see that, click this little refresh button, and now you can see we've got USB 1, and there's actually a serial number. That's good. That means that the programmer can see the radio. Next thing we'll do is hit connect, and we're greeted with a bunch of gobbledygook on the left-hand side. Don't worry about that. This is all good stuff. It means the programmer is now talking to your radio. From here on out, it should be smooth sailing. Just click on these three horizontal bars on the top left, click Erase in Programming, and then we're going to browse for the binary we want to flash on the radio. In my case, it's the TX12 Mark II. I'll click on that, and then make sure you put a check mark in this Verify Programming, and then hit the Start Programming button. You'll see some information scroll by on the bottom where it's cleaning up your radio and installing your new firmware. Download verified successfully and file download complete. That's all good news. Back on the radio, you can disconnect the USB-C cable, press the power button, and you should be greeted with a brand new fresh copy of EdgeTX and a bootloader to go with it. Of course I showed you how to do this on the TX-12. You don't think I'm an idiot, do you? Oh, you do? Let's try it on the TX-16S as well. Just to show you, I've got a working copy of Edge on this radio before we start this process. There it is, there's a boot up, and there's my katana. I'm gonna turn the radio off. I'll go into bootloader mode by pressing T4 and T1 in. I'll start the firmware write process by long pressing the jog dial, and while that's writing, I'm gonna go ahead and disconnect my battery. So it's writing. You disconnect the battery, and that is a bodged firmware upgrade for sure. Now, as you can see, when I press the power button, it's stuck on the first position. The blue light is on. I've got nothing on the screen. That's a brick. To get your radio ready for a reflash, disconnect the battery so all the lights go off, and then go ahead and plug the battery back in, and then reconnect the USB-C cable on the top of the radio. You will see some flashing lights, and again, you should hear that bong on your computer, and the flashing light for the six positions should stop here on number one. When that's done, we'll go back over to the workspace, and I'll click on my file archive and find my TX16S firmware. I'm just going to copy that over to my desktop. In the STM programmer, you need to make sure USB is selected up top, and if you see no DFU, hit the little recycle button. There we go, USB 1 with a serial number. Good news. And then we'll hit connect, and we see some green gobbledygook over here on the left. I'm going to click on the browse button to load up the firmware for the TX16S. Again, make sure Verify Programming is checked and hit Start Programming. Awesome.
Awesome. Download verified successfully. File download complete. We can go back to the radio now. Disconnect the USB from the top, turn the radio on, and we should be greeted with Edge TX up and running back in business. I hope you never find yourself in a position where you have to recover a bricked radio, but if you do, now you know it can be done. Please subscribe and hit the thumbs up. Also hit that notification bell so you know new material hits the channel. That's all I've got for today. Take it easy and go fly something.